Hey folks, it's been a while, uh, but today I am going to be doing a bit of a mathy video. There will be some spreadsheets and all that stuff, so if you like that sort of thing, stick around, and hopefully we'll learn some stuff together. If you do like this sort of thing, uh, please consider leaving a like on the video, as it does let me know this is the sort of thing you guys want to see, and I will make more of them. The topic of today's video is going to be reroll chance. What exactly is it? What does it mean? And what are your actual chances of getting a given item or affix um, for a certain reroll chance. Uh, to explain what reroll chance basically does in a nutshell is you can see here 98% reroll chance on the red ring. Um, this is one of the highest in the game. And if you are rolling a ring, so say for example you uh, do the ring prophecy as COF, you get your ring, it drops, and then it's trying to determine what ring to actually give you. So each of the items will have an equal chance to be selected. So based on however many items there are, it will pick one, and then it will look at the reroll chance, and this is the chance that it will pick something different. So if you roll the red ring, there's a 98% chance. It says, nope, and then it gives you, say, Liath Signet, for example. Uh, but it's not just one roll. So it could go Liath Signet, and then it could say, Nope, there's a 50% chance, and then it goes to Silver Fawn, says nope again, goes here, uh, and then it lands on one of these 0% ones, and these are guaranteed. So if you get something with a 0%, this is your item. Going into it, my assumption was that once an item was rerolled away from, you can't select it again. So it can't go Red Ring, Osirian Red Ring, or Red Ring, Red Ring, Red Ring, and so on. Uh, that's what I thought. Uh, and going off that assumption, I went down a huge rabbit hole of math. I wrote this big JavaScript thing that I was working on, and I made this recursive function to generate all the possible permutations and different combinations and, and all that. Uh, and then I was going to loop through all of these different arrays and add up the sums of reroll chances and calculate what the cumulative chance of each different item in the pool is. Uh, yeah, way too much math, way too frustrating. Fortunately, HD Mike confirmed that this is not actually how it works. When an item is re-rolled, you can actually roll the items in the pool again. So it can go red ring, red ring, red ring. And what that basically means, pretty much the way you could look at it is iteration one, the sum of all the probabilities of each thing is going to be the same as iteration two all the way to infinite. And that basically means that you can use math to calculate the chance of each one without doing simulations. You only need to go one iteration because every subsequent iteration of reroll is going to have the same chances. Um, so you can thank uh, Curse for this. Curse is the one that did the math part of that. Um, so yeah, huge, huge thanks to uh, Curse for simplifying this and breaking it down in one of his recent videos. Definitely check out his channel if you haven't already. Um, but I went ahead and did some verification on that for the spreadsheet. I was already midway through making a simulation um, based on input values already, so I went ahead and continued with that. And I compared it to the math to make sure that the math actually makes sense. Um, now, this has been a lot of rambling in my part, so let's jump into some actual numbers here. So this is the list of all the unique items. And you can see they all have categories and they all have reroll chances. So the goal here is to say, given an item with X reroll chance as part of a certain pool of possible drops, what is the actual chance of getting that item? What I did was I built out a simulation script. And it turns out you can actually integrate this into your Google Sheet, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, here is the script. Uh, it pulls the values selected from the spreadsheet. So these checkboxes, whatever are checked, this represents the pool. Uh, so this would be equivalent to doing a unique ring prophecy. Uh, so it pulls in all those values. It parses them into um, objects, basically, with properties. And then it simulates roles. The amount of times is equal to this value here so when you click the calculate button. The idea of this logic is basically to emulate what I believe the EHG logic probably looks like as close as possible. So when you try to roll in an item from a given pool of items, first what it does is it selects a item at random, so between zero and the length of the pool, 
Uh, so this would be zero indexed. This picks one of the items at random, equally weighted. Then it will go to the reroll chance. So it gets the reroll chance of the actual item. So for the example of red ring, this would be 0 0.98. And then what it does is if the reroll chance is zero, so if there is a 0% chance to reroll, the item that you picked is the item that you got right away. You don't need to do any further math. That's it. Uh, if it's not zero, then we do another random calculation. So we do math random, so between 0 and 1, we select another item, um, we select another roll, and if the roll between 0 and 1 is greater than the reroll chance, we return the item, which means you got the one that it was trying to roll. So in the example of red ring again, if the math.random is greater than 0 0.98, you got red ring. If not, it tries to roll again, this is a recursive function, it just calls itself with the pool again and keeps going until it gives you an item. That's basically how that works. Uh, so we have some additional utility stuff, getting the, the pool data from the sheet, generating random and, and so on. Not super important. And we can do a bit of a comparison because we now have two different ways to calculate the actual chance of each item. Pretty cool stuff. So let's, uh, let's actually run that here uh, on rings and see what we get. So we'll click Calculate, and you can see here it is populating values in the spreadsheet. So out of 10 million rolls, simulated rolls, we have about 83,000 of each of the ones that have 0% reroll chance. Makes sense here. Uh, and then once we get to the ones that have less than 0% reroll chance, you can see the rolls go down significantly. And the really cool thing is that the results are pretty much exactly the same as the simulation with 10 million uh, individual rolls. So really, really cool stuff. I think that's, that's a pretty good indicator that the math here is, is probably on point. Um, yeah, and jumping back to the calculator, I do have a bit of logs to explain a bit more of what's actually happening. So you can see here the logs right here. Calculated roll for the arboreal circuit. 1 in 12 for the calculated, 1 in 12 for simulated, and so on. Uh, and here's the actual math. So going a little bit deeper into the simplified math, uh, this is kind of a rough explanation of how it works and how you can calculate your actual chances of getting a given item based on whatever other items are in the pool and the reroll chance. Uh, so this is an example pool of potential items, um, and say you want this one, for example, right? So basically with these values, these reroll chances, you have a total weighting of 4.92. The way you get this value is by taking the inverse of the reroll chance. So a 0% reroll chance is a 100% chance to get the item. So you take one, one, one for all the zeros. And then one minus uh, 0 0.1 gives you 0 0.9. You add it up. This gives you the total weighting, so 4.92. Then you take the value here, so that the actual chance to get the item, you divide it by the total weighting. So one divided by 4.92, you get 0 0.2. So 20% chance to roll this item, each of these three items. And then all you have to do is take one divided by that value. This is the one in x value here. So uh, just as an example, imagine this is a red ring. It's one in 246 given this pool of items. Uh, if you want to change this to, say, for example, look at a different pool of items. Uh, so say we want to add another roll. Notice how this 246 changes. It's now 291. Because we added another item to the pool, the simulated red ring here becomes less likely. And so on. Well, that's, uh, there we go. Yeah, so as you, as you can see, you add more items to the pool, each one becomes less likely. Anyway, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Reroll chances is, is cool. Math is cool. I think the main reason why EHG did it this way, I'm pretty sure they've said this before, uh, but yeah, basically what it means is that as they add more items into the game, they don't need to adjust the drop chances of items. 
they just add a new item and the pool will automatically adjust accordingly. So yeah, really cool stuff. Enjoy the math and yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.